My name is Habib Efron. Uh, my name is Anas Khan. And this is our YouTube Space Lab entry. The materials we need for this project are water, syrup powder, magnets, and metal filings. Here's our procedure. The fine metal filings will be dissolved in several different water-based liquids. These liquids will be of varying viscosity. This will be accomplished by dissolving each liquid into different amounts of syrup. For each trial, a liquid of different viscosity will be suspended within a container. For each trial, a magnet will be placed in the center of the mass of liquid. The liquid will then be left for five minutes. The amount of metal filings amassed around the magnet after five minutes will be recorded for each trial. And here's a little diagram of what we're talking about here. So here's the magnet, metal filings will be all around it, and then there's going to be a liquid encompassing the metal filings. We want to see whether or not these metal filings will gather around the magnet, and which liquid will prevent that the most. The applications for this are endless. Manipulating liquid using magnetic fields can be useful in space telescopes. Currently, we transport fragile lenses in order to be able to use them. Because the lenses are solid, a violent launch limits the maximum size a lens can be due to the larger lenses being more susceptible to damage. However, if we were able to make a magnetic liquid solution, we could transport as much of it as we like to space because water can't break. Once it gets into space, we can use magnetic fields to shape the solution into a lens and get as big of a lens as we please. So our hypothesis is basically that the greater the viscosity of the liquid, the greater the resistance that the metal filings have to moving towards uh, through the liquid. Now, as far as lenses go, the optimal viscosity is going to be the viscosity that provides the greatest resistance to uh, metal filings moving through the liquid and also provides the greatest opacity.